I just broke a three million dollar law Ferrari. So right now I'm back in the car with Brock and we are heading out to Orange County to grab some lunch and it just happens to be that his godfather owns Iluso. Iluso is like a giant hypercar dealership out in Orange County but it's closed right now because it's Sunday so we're gonna see if we can pull a few strings and he's gonna call his godfather Donnie and see if we can get ourselves into the shop. I'm excited. Hey Uncle Donnie, we're heading over to Orange County right now. Yeah. We're gonna be there in like 10 minutes. Could you send an employee over to open it for us? Awesome. Okay. Bye, I love you. He just talked to his uncle and he's gonna send an employee over in 10 minutes and they're gonna lock the dealership for us. And it's just gonna be us two and my mom and we're gonna be with all these hypercars. Oh, we're here. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you guys doing? I'm Sherry. Sherry? Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you want to just pull to the left, there's a few spots open. Okay, And perfect. you guys have one more car coming? Nope, just okay. two cars. Just uh, her Ferrari and you? you yep, perfect. correct. Okay, we just got to Iluso. It's the leader in hypercar industry, and it's Sunday, and it's completely closed off. It's open specially for us because of my friend Brock. So right now, let's go check out some of the crazy hyper and super cars they have. Open this up a little bit and make it probably look a little bit more inside. Wow, this place is crazy. It is worth millions of dollars. It could be worth anywhere from two to four million dollars. And it has somewhere around 800 horsepower. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at the size of this door. It's like a foot long. And then if you come into the interior, the entire bucket is made out of all carbon fiber. And then look at the steering wheel. It's not like a traditional steering wheel. The shape of it, it's actually more like a square. A lot of people don't usually point that out, but I think it's really cool. The LaFerrari, whereas most cars have an adjustable seat that can go forward and backward, the LaFerrari is, is actually an adjustable pedal. Oh, yeah, so the, the seat before. is stationary, yeah. and when you pull it, it'll actually bring it forward and backward. It works real quick, so you uh, can figure out if it would fit well for you. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just Doing it perfect, it's right there, yeah. Okay. Sit first there. and then just swing your leg in. <laughs> okay. I like this, I could I could take this. You know, this would work. So, oh, look at the pedals are coming closer to me. Okay, and then watch, I think you can push it back. Oh, it's not going back, I don't know how to. Just go ahead, pull, pull on the, the lever again and push with uh, your right foot with the brake. Oh, really? Yep. Nothing is happening. <laughs> That's so crazy. I just broke a $3 million law Ferrari. Hey guys, do you want to actually stand by the back? I'm going to turn the car on and see yeah. if the pedals work. The so brake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, break yeah good idea. I don't want to, you know, leave here with braking if you're not telling Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> You guys see it, Mom? Yeah, yeah, the brake lights are on. Listen to it all day. It's 
So if you think this is loud, a straight type version of this is crazy. not not to like say anything like that. Wasn't that loud? Not that loud? Yeah, my dad is screaming. Oh, yeah. oh. Engine through the glass, isn't that insane? And it's so clean, it looks like it's. Is this yeah. this part? Is it brand new? So this one's a 2014. Oh my gosh, 129 miles. Because you can't trust test drive one of these, can you? No, no. not a So you just have to buy it. With any new car, there's kind of a pre qualification process whether it's, hey, these are some of my assets, these are some other vehicles I have. Um, but you know, when you get to this million dollar value, the guys buying these cars, they already know what they're capable of, so they're not worried really about test yes. driving them. They want it as just part of their collection. And when you have one with only 129 miles on it, you're not gonna find one with those few miles anywhere else. And over here, this is the Porsche 918 Spider. It's also a multi-million dollar hypercar. It can be worth like one and a half million dollars. It's part of the holy trinity with this car, the LaFerrari, the Porsche 918 Spider, and the McLaren P1. They're like the three top of the line hybrid hypercar. And just come check this thing out. Oh, wait. Is that charging? Yeah, it's a hybrid hypercar. So what that means, is that there's the gas motor, but then there's also the electric that works in with it to give it more torque, you know, instant torque, instant power, everything, just to make the car quicker, both with the La Ferrari and the Porsche 918. Why does it say Martini on it? Um, it's just one of the... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's like That's the only racing. thing I noticed. It's, it's one of the liveries. It's like for racing. It's not like the actual drink. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, like an even bigger martini. <laughs> uh, this is a spider, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means this carbon fiber roof, see how it's split down the middle? You can, um, it's not like electric, but you take the two parts out, and I think you can store them in the front compartment. And then the inside of this, it's all carbon fiber, just like the La Ferrari. Ooh, look at that little, that's glowing on the camera. You also forgot to point out that there's a fire extinguisher in here just Oh in yeah, case. look, there's a fire extinguisher in the middle of the car. I wonder why. So the engine doesn't catch on fire. Okay, my dad, he actually used to own two of these. This is a replica of a Shelby Cobra. This one's actually backdrop racing. It's just such a cool car. I don't know much about it because it's old and older car. How much is this? Well, I think this one's a replica. The real ones can go, you know, from one to two million. But replicas, you know, it's not actually built by Shelby. So they can be like 30 to 100,000 or like 30 to 150,000. Look okay. at on the side of the Shelby, there's this giant exhaust, a single tube, instead of like four in the back. That's insane. My, my uh, grandma, when we actually used to have one, she was getting out and she burnt her leg on it. Let's say someone comes in and they want a, like that. The one on the way back? How are you going to get the car out? Very carefully, we move everything outside, uh, which isn't actually too difficult here. Uh, the way the doors open up, you can slide all the windows back, you pull the cars out. So it'll take us, you know, about five, 10, 15 minutes, depending on which car it is. You just have to be really careful. But otherwise, it's not too difficult. What's one of the ones you, you think is I like, like that. I like that one. Uh, oh, I know. Cool. And the interior, the orange and blue. So let's go check out some of the cars a little bit further back. Um, I've noticed they have, I don't know, three or four, four or five eight speciales. There's a red, uh, white and black one right here, yellow, orange and black, and another one over there. They're all like very rare cars that cost about $700,000 each. Um, right here we have an Aventador S. Yeah. Beautiful car. This car actually costs one million dollars. So like, would you be able to test drive this or is it just above that? When you are at that price point, when you're at that low mileage, we really try not to test drive too often. But we want to make sure somebody's a serious buyer because the last thing we would want would be, A, of course, you never want an accident to occur. Yeah. But even on a car like this, assuming everything's fine, you don't want a ton of miles put on it because yeah. it, it affects the value of it. Yeah. Yeah. 
we have the Special Aperta and the TDF in yeah. the same matching color combo. So also, this one, I just noticed that. I didn't even notice that they were in the same color combo. Yeah. And Ferrari right here, it shows perfect examples of how you can have the same That's color. That's a for Ferrari. Yeah. Same, same, very similar cars, but in such drastically different configurations. Because mm -hmm. we have the two different F12 TDFs here. You know, both of them ultimately were done with a lot of customization. The white one is part of Ferrari's yeah, that's like the Italian flag down the mm -hmm. hood. And then, as you mentioned, the Speciali Apertas here. Yeah. You got the three different color combos, different striping, the interior trim's a little bit different. So which car do you hate? Which car is disgusting? Like, which car is <laughs> I personally don't have any that I hate. There's definitely ones I like more than others, but you know, when I think you get to this level of cars, you have respect for each one. Yeah. That being said, I love Ferraris and Porsches. I think Lamborghinis and McLarens are cool, but personally, it's just I don't like them quite as much. Exactly. So, I like Lamborghinis and McLarens. Lamborghinis and Ferraris. At the end of the day, as long as it gets you from point A to point B, there's no wrong car. There's just faster and better ones. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> as long as it drives. Now we're gonna go to the back. So I heard they just got this Brabus G Wagon yesterday. You think you guys? Yeah, just rolled in yesterday. I don't even know the details on it. It's so new, but I mean, pretty, pretty cool machine we got here. Well, not every, everything's done in carbon fiber. The hood. There's like extra lights up or, up on top of the roof. What is the meaning of the word Brabus? It's like um. They take Mercedes and they put their own kits on it. Like, see all these crazy things oh, and yeah. all this carbon fiber. It's oh, like, I get it. it's not like a wide body kit, but it's like uh, an extra kit on it. So they put like carbon fiber and all their expensive pieces on it wow. and just make it custom. I'm yeah, see, so like Brabus. It's just like a, it's like turning a Mercedes into a nicer Mercedes. Crazy how these are all just sitting out here, just outside. And here we have all the cheap stuff. Are these like the peasant cars? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a Mansory, uh, a Mansory Rolls Royce Wraith by Riso. It's really cool. We just got this one in. You know, so each of the cars is, is very unique. And, it, and it's tough because with some of the kits, they visually make the cars look awesome. They do a lot. But from a value standpoint, it kind of varies. If it's a brand new car, if it's a little bit of an older car with some miles on there. Really no. There's a car coming ah! by your foot. Ah! Ah! What happened? Are you filming? Yes, I can't go over there anymore. <laughs> okay, uh, my sister, we were just looking at cars, and there was a cockroach crawling on her foot. Look at, look at this. Aww. There it goes. Really and now she won't come back over here, so I guess I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the cars. So right here is the brand new Ferrari Portofino. Then we got a Porsche Turbo. Right here, this is another Aventador. This is just like James Stradman's Aventador. Then we got a 570S, just like FaZe Rugs brother Verwadis got one. Uh, Bentley Bentega right here. And then over here, we have a stretched Range Rover limousine. Look at this thing, just to show you how big. Here's a Ferrari, and look it, it's a stretched Range Rover. It's crazy. Then over here, we got another classic car. I don't know much about old cars, because I wasn't alive, but it looks like it's an old GT car. Check this out. It's pretty cool. Well, it was so great to meet you. Very nice Thank to meet you, you for too. coming. We'll definitely be back soon. Sounds good, no. sounds good. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I sure did. I almost broke a $3 million car, so that was fun. Make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Wow, my name. Everything's because of him. We wouldn't be able to be here uh, without him, so make sure to go check out his Instagram. Just if you see him in public, say hi, so.